Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Brady Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to play games online with the Riot Jinx emulator. Basically, I'm showcasing you guys how to use L D N. <laughs> well, before we get started with this video, please make sure you guys leave a like, share, also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, first things first, everything you guys will need would be in the description down below. That is to the special Ryu Jinx build, which enables online multiplayer, which called LDN. <laughs> I always laugh when I say that due to the fact that it's kind of like a tongue catcher because I can't say it too fast, which is weird. But yeah, this is basically a special build from the Ryu Jinx Patreon. You guys don't need to um, worry about um, this being behind a paywall due to the fact that it's available for both Linux and Windows. So obviously you guys wanna get the Windows version because most people use Windows. But if you use Linux, you can get Linux also. But uh, you're basically gonna double click this. It's gonna come as a zip file. And then basically you're gonna open this up and then the exe and then after you open up the exe boom a new special build of ryu jinx l l d n 2.3 which is i think that's the latest version um so far and then when you go here when you go on the options tab manage user user profiles um you can make your own custom username I call myself King Burley's Home just for my YouTube name. After that, you just save it and then you close this out. And then you go to the options tab, go to settings, go to multiplayer. And then when you're in the multiplayer um, log, when you see land mode, this is basically multi, uh, this is online play. Basically gonna enable land con connectivity and then your network interface, if you're using an internet cable, local area, uh, local area connection one, or local area connection 10, Bluetooth connection or loop back, loop back interface one. But off, I'm using Wi-Fi due to the fact that I'm not near my room where my internet, my, basically my internet cable box is at. So I may be using Wi-Fi for this um, video to showcase you guys. And everything else is pretty much the same. You have your basic right, Jinx settings. So yeah, it's pretty easy to set up. And after you do that, you just press save. And we should get to go. And then one more step before we get started showcasing how online play work for these three games. All right, so when you get to a uh, land status play, it basically showcases you guys every game that you can play online multiplayer with. Um, I say most of the tr um, more popular games you can play online with, like Arms, Bayonet. I'm not saying those games are popular, like Animal Crossing, Mario Kart 8, Delu 8 Deluxe, um, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Splatoon 2. You basically can play land mode with it, and they give you directions on how to set it up. And also, there is a. There is also a interface, I believe, a special um, broom, if I'm not mistaken, where you can get when you see people playing locally, right here. Now, this is basically um, showcasing guys, people who are playing online, their servers, and yes, they're all using Ryu Jinx, as you guys can see. Monster Hunter and Pokemon are the most popular things to play online with the Ryu Jinx assembly. So I'll leave in the description down below to this also to showcase you guys who's playing online for you guys to be aware before you guys go online and play to see who's online. And also, I'll leave the description down below to the special build and also this to showcase you 
um, to give you directions on how to set up online play for whatever game you're trying to play on the Ryujin Simulator to, and also to see if it's compatible to play online. So after we get all that out of the way, we should get started. So first game we're going to try out is Pokemon Sword and Shield. And let's try it out. Here goes nothing. All right. All right, so we're gonna start off with Pokemon Sword and Shield. First thing you want to do is go to the main menu. Get to the options tab. Now, when you're in the options tab, it's very important to press L and R together and click on the left analog stick. Not move forward towards the left analog stick. You gotta click it, make that little clicking sound. It's very important to do that because in the beginning I got confused and I thought you have to press L and R together and go left. You don't have to go left. You have to press L and R together and click it. So I'm going to showcase you guys right now how it goes. L and R and click it. And as soon as you do that, it's going to boot up land mode. And you're going to see this screen right here. The mode has been switched to land mode. Please note that the option <laughs> operations other than max ray battles are not guaranteed. When you stop using land land mode please save your game and turn it off so yeah that's basically how you enabled um, land mode so you can also do um, local multiplayer wireless multiplayer and online play with other people on the Ryu Jinx emulator um, if you guys want me sh if you guys want uh, a video guide showcasing you guys how to use local multiplayer with Pokemon Sword and Shield I can do that showcase you guys how to trade with yourself with another with a switch that you own with your PC. I think this video is going to be really cool, but that's just for another video in the near future I want to do. But yeah, if you guys want to see that video, make sure you guys leave a like and then we're going to try to try this out with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So, see you guys in a second. Alrighty. Now we're messing with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now for you to basically play um, online play or um, land mode with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, when you're on the main menu screen, you're gonna press L and R together and then you're gonna click on the left analog stick. So L and R together and we're gonna click on it. And as you see right here, in the bottom here, we have land play. <laughs> and we're gonna click on it. That's kind of slow. And they basically create a room. Uh, you're gonna see this. Just allow access. Alrighty, so you basically create a room, and then after that, um, whoever wants to play with you should come into the lobby with you, or you can play with <laughs> local, local wireless multiplayer. Play with your Switch and with your PC. A little cool idea you guys can do it or a setup. So yeah, that's. Pretty much it with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. All you have to do in the main menu screen, press L and R together and then click on the left analog stick. Basically click on it or press on it. And then this should pop up and then you are good to go. So next game I'm going to try out is Splatoon 2. If not, I guess say that's the end of the video. I mean, trying Splatoon 2. So be back in a second. <laughs> Alrighty, so disregard with me showcasing you how to use land mode with Splatoon 2 due to the fact that for some reason my own custom save file does not work for some reason and it does boot up to a whole new game. So I'm not going to go through the hassle of going through tutorial mode and all that just to showcase how to use land mode due to the fact that my save file, my own custom save file does not work. So. This will guard with Splatoon 2. It's pretty simple and easy. The same place that you go to where you go set up your online multiplayer matches or online matches, you just press L and R together and then click on the left analog stick and then land mode should pop up. So it's pretty the same. It's pretty much the same logic with every other game that's compatible with land mode, aka online multiplayer. Not too difficult. Like I said before, I'll leave in the description down below to this page to showcase you which games are basically 
compatible with online multiplayer with LAN mode. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty simple and easy guide overall. If you have the game, you basically can play LAN mode and you can play with other people. Um, so yeah, pretty much, I'll say this is one of the coolest features that the Rocky Jinx emulator has. Um, and recently I think that they have been doing a lot of improvements with this emulator. They, they just introduced Vulcan and this new land mode is pretty interesting. I feel like this is, has a lot of potential, just like the online multiplayer in Citra or even better. So yeah, this is, this is huge potential. Consider the fact that Nintendo Online is not that good, and then you can come to either Ryu Jinx or the Yuzu emulator, or when the Yuzu emulator brings back their online feature due to the fact that they took it off due to the fact that um, I think Nintendo was on their tail a little bit, so they wanted to remove that just for the time being. But the Ryu Jinx emulator, they kind of put this low key. They kind of implement this is kind of online play, but at the same time, this is like you can do this wireless um, local um, also so they can make a defense that's saying this is not all online play this is just you can do this online and wireless local so yeah that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed this video or find this video any helpful at all feel free to like share and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and yeah guys stay tuned for my next video showcasing you guys how to use Ryu Jinx and your own Nintendo Switch to trade with yourself in Pokemon games. So that should be really interesting using the local wireless feature with LAN play. So yeah, that's about it. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.